killing me, Warren. Killing me. So I went and I picked up my ranch hand bumper from Four Wheel Parts in Redondo Beach the other day. And I asked them what the status was on my worn 16 and a half thousand pound winch. And they said, oh, we're not expecting that in until next summer. Really? Next summer. I ordered it in June. It's been five months already. And now they said the winch won't be in until next summer. I don't understand. And they said that they have another customer that ordered some in March and they're not expecting them until January or February. So. I don't know who's telling me the truth, but I really don't. But if you're telling me that it takes a year to get a winch ordered, put together, and delivered, somebody needs to be fired. Somebody needs to lose their job. Because that's ridiculous. But they had plenty, they said they had plenty of uh, the 12,000 pound and under ones that are imported, come from in China so there's no problem with the supply chain there but the ones that are made in the United States can't get them <laughs> baffles me you'd think one of their highest and that thing was $2,300 $2,400 you'd think it would be one of their higher profit items that they'd want to they'd want to pump it out, but I guess not. So I, I canceled that. I'll, I'll go a different route. But if that's true that it takes that long to get the product built and delivered, then the retail seller, four wheel parts, should be getting on these companies and leveraging them to get the product out. I mean, Four Wheel Parts isn't a small establishment. They got 90 plus stores across the United States. Shoot, I remember when they only had uh, less than less than 10 or 20 stores back in the, the early 90s. But they should be leveraging themselves to push these manufacturers to get this stuff. Same goes with the ranch hand bumper. Five months. It's a piece of steel. It's a piece of uh, welded together tube steel and diamond plate. I mean, granted, it looks great. It's fantastic. I can't wait to put it on the truck. Why does it take five months to put that together? I mean, they have to put somebody through welding school first. I don't know. But, uh, and the people of Ranch Hand, they are not friendly folks. At least in my experience, they weren't friendly folks. I don't know. So I'm going to, I'm going to go a different route on the winch. I don't know what I'm going to go with yet, but it's not going to be a worn winch. I'm ditching that. I don't care that they got Others in stock. Heck with that. <laughs> I mean, that's your product. Is a winch. And you can't even make that. Just, I don't get it. But, anyway. Enough of my ranting. Uh, what other, besides installation videos, 
that I'm doing for the truck, which I have several more to do. What other videos would would everyone like to see? Because I, you know, I want to, I want to do interesting things. I don't want to. I want to do like videos with my trailer, uh, of which I'm go actually going to sell and buy a, a bigger one. So that's going to be up for sale pretty soon, as soon as I get the title in the mail. I'm going to I'm going to buy a 40 foot, I think. Haven't decided whether I'm going to get the PJ or the Big Tex again, but um, PJ Big Tex same company now. Just different name. But the, they're owned by the same company. Um, but let me know what uh, what other videos anybody would like to see cuz I don't I want to make the the channel about the truck, not about me, I'm not necessarily about me, but if there's other other things people would like to see, let me know, absolutely. If you want to see some scenic videos of me driving down the road, I can do that. If you want to see some videos of paint drying on a wall, let me know, I'll try to do that too. Um, I don't know. So I like doing the insulation videos, and like I said before, I do the 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 one and done sort of thing. I don't want people to to misunderstand me. Uh, I I do the videos to show how I'm doing it. May not necessarily be the hundred percent right way to do it, but I do the videos. And I install them how I can do it best. Um, so I'm not scripting things, pre-planning, pre-installing things, taking it off, and reinstalling it as if it's my first time and I'm a super pro at doing it. No. No, I'm not doing that. I want it to be authentic. Uh, if everyone can appreciate that. So um, If I screw up doing something then I screw up doing something like uh, putting on the the hood deflector I didn't like that video it didn't come out good um, so let me know in the comments absolutely please if there's something somebody else would like to see let me know uh, but trying to keep the, the the channel about my truck Somebody was asking me, well, why don't we ever see you? Well, I'm thinking it was, the channel was about my truck, but if somebody wants to see me, here I am. <laughs> uh, all right, so I will end this, and I will get back to doing some installs, which I have a lot of other things to do. A lot of other things. It's fun. I enjoy this. I didn't think I'd be up to 21 videos by now, but here I am. All right. Let's get back to something. There is the ranch hand bumper. Got the winch plate. And then all the brackets over here. Enormous. It's got a two inch receiver on the front. It's made for the uh, the camera system. And it's got the Cutouts for the fog lights. That thing is super heavy. Took a forklift to get it in the uh, truck. Okay, 
Next item. It's something I am a bit perplexed on. The wiring for the headache rack for the lights on the sides. I want to be able to wire them so that they individually go on one, two, three, as I choose. So either I can have this one on and nothing else on, or I can put them all on, or maybe just this one. So that means I have to have six switches because I have three lights on each side. This is going to one of my outfitter switches. And then the front one for the bumper will also go on to an outfitter switch. But these, since I want to be able to control them separately, will need to go on their own separate switches. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how to wire those. What is the best and most efficient way to wire it? If anybody has any ideas, please send me an email or put them in the comments. I'm also working on, here's the CB mount. And then over here, I've, I've decided I'm going to put my ham radio in my truck. So this is my ham mount with my ham antenna right here. And here's a CB radio antenna. And this is my scanner antenna. I'm going to make a mount for that. And then my Wii Boost will go over, over here somewhere. So I'm going to end up having four antennas on here. So, until I figure out the how I'm going to do the wiring, I'm going to hold off on installing it until I've got that solved. A couple things, uh, a couple questions people were asking me. Um, they're asking me, how do I find loads for to haul? Well, I, I, I don't. Um, I'm just a guy with a truck. I don't have a business. Um, friends ask, they need something moved. I got a trailer moved. <laughs> um, so I just, I'm a regular, regular person with a regular job. I have a cubicle in an office building. And this is just my hobby now, just uh, enjoying the truck. So I enjoy it. Um, I get I get a lot of really positive comments. Thank you very much. Um, the positive comments are vastly outweighing the negatives, of which there are. I didn't think there was that much negativity, but it's okay. It's okay, I can handle it. So, uh, any other questions, comments, concerns, let me know.